Hello everyone. Welcome to the 17th lecture of the course. In this module, we are trying to understand the existence as coexistence. In the previous module, we tried to understand the human being. Now in the previous lecture, lecture 16, we tried to see how the whole existence is there as coexistence. And now we'll go to see how the coexistence expresses itself as the four orders of nature. So we are discussing module four. And the title of this lecture is Expression of Coexistence as Nature, the Four Orders. So you have already studied about the four orders. Now we'll see how coexistence expresses itself as four orders with their definite natural characteristics and innateness. So we discussed about this in the previous lecture that the whole existence is there as units submerged in space. The units are limited in size. Every unit is activity in itself and active with other units. If you look at the space, the space is unlimited in size and it is no activity. The space is all pervading and this coexistence is ever present. Then we go, <clears throat> then we went to see that the units are of two kinds, material and consciousness. And there are only two kinds of activity in the material units, recognizing and fulfilling. While in the conscious units, we have the activities of knowing, assuming, recognizing and fulfilling. We also saw that each of the material units is temporary while the conscious units are continuous. And when you look at a space, you see that this is ever, that it is unbounded in time and space. So the temporary units are bounded in time as well as space. The continuous units are bounded in space, but not time. And the ever is unbounded in time and space. Then we also went to see that the existence, which is there as coexistence is ever present in all time, in all space. And in coexistence in space, every unit is energized, that is active, self-organized, and recognizing its relationship and fulfilling it with other units. Thus, the coexistence is ever present. It was there, it is there, it will be there. Now, we go on to study that the coexistence is expressing itself in the form of nature. In the previous lecture, we saw that this coexistence is ever present. It was there, it is there, and it is going to be there for all time, for all time, all space. Now, we also saw that in coexistence in space, every unit is energized and thus it is active. It is self-organized and recognizing its relationship with other units and fulfilling it. Put together, this we called as submergence. And thus we saw that the coexistence is ever present. We also saw that the coexistence is ever effective and the principle of coexistence applies to every unit in this nature, right from atom to the biggest planet and the nature as a whole. So it is ever effective. And then we also saw that this coexistence is ever expressing. Now we'll go to study this in much more detail. So the expression of this coexistence is the nature and the nature is there in four orders. The nature is made up of only two kinds of units, conscious units and material units. And these units are organized in four orders, the physical order, bio order, animal order, and human order. Now, if you look at the physical order, it has material units, right from atom to the heavenly bodies. If you look at the bio order, it has bio units, right from cells to the human body. Looking at the animal order, we can see that animal order is coexistence of one conscious unit and one material unit, the material unit being the body, the conscious unit being the self. And the awakening of the self is only up to the activity of selecting and testing. And we saw that the human order is awakened to the activities of selecting, testing, analyzing, comparing, and imaging. And there is a need to know as well as potential to know in the self of the human being. So this is something that we had discussed in the previous lecture. I think you might have explored about this. And if there is some fresh question, you can note it down. Now, looking at the four orders in another way, we'll see that the physical order only has the activity of recognizing and fulfilling. The bio order has activity of recognizing and fulfilling. Looking at the animal order, we can see that there is a self as well as the body. And in the self, there is activity of assuming, recognizing, and fulfilling. If you look at the human order, human order is also coexistence of self and body. And the self has potential to know in addition to assuming, recognizing, and fulfilling. One important thing to mark is that the presence of self is indicated by the presence of activity of assuming. 
Now, if you look at the physical order, there is no activity assuming. The conduct of physical order is completely based on recognizing and fulfilling. For example, one hydrogen atom combines with one oxygen atom and makes water at a given temperature and pressure. It is definite. It is going to happen the same way every time. There is no assuming in the hydrogen atom or oxygen atom. If you look at your body, your body also has only activity of recognizing and fulfilling, which is there in the bio order. If you look at any plant or tree, there also you can see the same thing. There is no activity of assuming in the plants and trees. And thus we can say that there is no self there in the physical order as well as the bio order. But when it comes to animal order, we are able to see that there is activity of assuming. How do we make out? For example, you bring a puppy to your house and give it a name. Initially, it does not recognize its name. Now, if you start behaving in a particular manner by offering food, by patting on the back, by fondling, then it starts assuming that this word, this particular word that has been assigned for me is related to me. Now, with this assuming, the next time when you call that word, it responds. Now, what has happened here? Can it happen with the tree? Can it happen with your chair? It cannot happen, certainly. It does happen with the animal because in the animal we are, we are able to see, because in the animal we are able to see that there is activity of assuming. A, same, a similar kind of thing can be observed for the birds also. If you have a parrot in the house and you'll see that you can train the parrot, you can train the pigeon. So there is activity of assuming there to be seen in the animal order and thus we can say that it has self as well as the body. But keep on exploring, keep on trying to find out. Try to see where do we keep the insects? Where do we keep the fish? Presently, I'm leaving this open for you to explore. Try to find it out. If you look at the human order, we have, of course, the activity of assuming. And in addition to that, we have the potential to know. And we are trying to utilize that potential to know in this lecture. So you'll see that to understand the other three orders, the right understanding of the human order is required. If I'm not able to understand myself as a self coexisting with the body, I'm not able to recognize the other orders in the nature also correctly. So some over evaluation, under evaluation or otherwise evaluation keeps on taking place. For example, if I do not understand the self, I may assume that the plants also have self. I may assume that the water also has self, isn't it? Now, Another thing to note here that when you talk about life, what do we assign this life to? Do we assign this life to the activity of assuming or some physical chemical change? Now, these all things need to be resolved when you go to understand the nature. So presently, I keep it open for you. Try to ponder over it, try to explore it. Now, this is something that we discussed in the previous lecture also. So now looking at the whole existence in one look, as we saw in the previous lecture, we can see that the existence is coexistence as the units are submerged in space, the units make the nature and the space is all pervading. The units are of two kinds, material and consciousness, and they are organized in four orders. And the development is going to take place in the self only, in the conscious unit only. And since the self in the human being has the potential to know, essentially in the complete nature, we need to develop, isn't it? Now going further to see how the coexistence expresses itself in the form of nature. So every unit belonging to the four orders of the nature has five aspects. And what are these five aspects? Form, property, natural characteristics, innateness, and coexistence. And as we had seen in module two, that the natural characteristic, innateness, and coexistence are definite, continuous, and universal. Since they are definite, continuous, and universal, we can understand them. Form and property is to be recognized, but the three things, natural characteristic, innateness and coexistence have to be understood. So you'll see that the natural characteristic and innateness of all units belonging to any particular order in the nature is the same. And this is something that we are going to explore in the next slide. Thus, these two of all units are expression of coexistence, which is the same for units are given order in the nature. And this is something that we are going to discuss now. So you'll see that in a given order, let's say physical order or bio order or animal order or human order, the natural characteristics is going to be the same. So the natural characteristic of every human being is the same. The natural characteristic of every bird and animal is the same. 
the natural characteristic of every plant and tree is the same there could be a variety in the form in the property of these units but the natural characteristic is the same similarly you can see that the innateness in a given order is the same and thus we can study it we can understand it so if you look at the nature there are a variety of units there are so many units uncountable units but still we can understand the nature because these three natural characteristic innateness and coexistence are the same in a given order now we can study the innateness and natural characteristic of the four orders looking at the physical order the innateness is existence innateness means the basis of definite conduct across generations the self organization and existence means that it continues to be so every unit of the physical order continues to be it is there in the existence its form may change it may deform it may form new units but ultimately its existence is going to be there isn't it so if you look at any unit in the physical order if you look at the elements if you look at the atoms and molecules they are going to continue the molecules may dissociate into atoms the atoms may combine into molecules but every atom is going to be there so the units of the physical order are going to continue they are going to exist if you look at the bio order every unit of the bio order is going to be there it is made up of atoms and molecules and it is also going to grow there is going to be growth in the bio order so long as the activity of respiration is there in the bio order the growth will be there and when the respiration stops then the units of the bio order go back to the physical order so this is the innateness of bio order that there is going to be existence as well as growth if you look at the animal body the same thing is to be observed here there is, a, there is existence as well as growth in the body so the body may not continue okay but every atom and molecule making the body is going to continue it may not be a part of the body it may go back to the soil but it goes to continue in the soil so every unit of the animal body is going to continue it is going to exist and if you look at the body there is growth in the body the cells are growing and decaying so there is growth in the body looking at the self we can see that there is a will to live in the self of the animal the self wants to live isn't it once again in the animal order we can see there is a self as well as the body the body is similar to the units of bio order so there is existence as well as growth so every atom of the animal body is going to exist it may not be a part of the body but it is going to be there in the existence isn't it similarly there is growth in the body the cells making the tissues making the organs keep on growing and decaying so there is growth in the body so long as the cells are there as a unit of bio order they keep on growing and after they decay they become a part of the physical order so there is uh, existence as well as growth in the body of the animal if you look at the self the self has the will to live the self wants to live it wants it wants to be the self wants to be if you look at the human order in the body we are able to see existence as well as growth and in the self there is will to live not only with happiness but with continuous happiness so each one of us as a self want to live with continuous happiness now if you look at the animal order you can see that in the animal order we have the self as well as the body something that we discussed on the previous slide now if you look at the body it is similar to any unit of the bio order so there is existence as well as growth in the body existence means that every atom making the body is going to exist it may not be a part of the body but is but it is going to be there in the existence similarly if you look at the body there is growth in the body so long as the respiration is there in the cells the cells keep on growing and when the respiration stops they become a part of the physical order and become a part of the rest of nature so in the animal body we are able to see existence as well as growth now if you look at the self of the animal there is will to live isn't it the self wants to live the animal wants to live is it true are you able to see this 
if you look at the human order in the body we have similar things as they are in the animal body similar to what is there in the bio order so there is existence as well as growth in the body of the human being and here if you see we not only have the will to live but we have the will to live with continuous happiness so this is not to be seen in the animal order the will to live with continuous happiness but it is, it is certainly there in the human order and that's what we are working for we are going for education we are going to understand the things we are planning to uh, under, see the whole existence as it is we are trying to understand the whole existence as it is now this will to live with continuous happiness in the self is fulfilled by right feeling and right thought that is the samadhan the all encompassing resolution and this is ensured by right understanding that is gyan isn't it so right understanding ensures right feeling right thought and this ensures the will to live with continuous happiness being fulfilled so this is the innateness the natural characteristic if you see so the natural characteristic of the physical order is composition decomposition so in the physical order we can see that only these two kinds of activities are going to take place as a participation two units of the physical order compose together to make a bigger unit and decompose to become smaller units for example if you have to make a building what do you do you decompose the soil make it into a brick so a big so the soil gets decomposed into small particles and then you make a brick and you then combine the bricks together so the bricks compose together to make the building next day maybe when there is an earthquake it goes back to the soil does it happen or not so we'll see that in the entire physical order only these two activities are to be seen composition and decomposition keep on exploring and verifying all this this is only activity of composition decomposition so whatever research we are doing in terms of the physical order are only in the domain of composition and decomposition we are trying to find out how things compose and how they decompose if you look at the bio order there is composition decomposition as well as nurture and worsen what does it mean so if you look at the participation of one bio unit with another bio unit it is in terms of nurturing or worsening for example you consume food from the bio order so the food gets worsened in the body it gets consumed in the body and the body gets nurtured isn't it but if you eat something which is poisonous for the body that particular thing gets worsened in the body and the body also gets worsened so if you look at the participation in the bio order it is only in terms of nurturing and worsening along with composition and decomposition now there could be four kinds of participation one would be nurture nurture the other would be nurture worsen the third would be worsen nurture and the fourth would be worsen and worsen so what does it mean so for example if you look at the various parts of the body okay each of them belong to the bio order and they are nurturing each and every unit in the body so your heart is nurturing the lungs the lungs are nurturing the heart and so on so here the relation between different parts of the body is nurture and nurture when you are consuming food which is fit for health the food is getting worsened in the body and the body is getting nurtured if you consume something which is uh, not good for health then the body gets worsened in the process the particular thing also gets worsened Now there could be also uh, like some amoeba or some viruses growing in the body, which are getting nurtured in the body but worsening your body. Are you able to see this? So these four possibilities are there: nurture, 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 worsen, worsen, nurture, and worsen, worsen. I hope this part is clear. So what I discussed right now, the way the units of bio order participate with other units. can be seen in these terms if you look at the animal order in the animal body we we are able to see the same kind of participation that we saw in the bio order in the self we can see that there is cruelty and non cruelty so if you look at the self of the animal the participation is there in terms of cruelty and non cruelty so one animal participates with the other animal either in a cruel manner or a non cruel manner and this is going to be seen in the self so there could be some animals that you can see which are cruel like lion tiger leopard these are all cruel animals some animals you can see who are non cruel like rabbit 
cow, deer, such animals. And these are two varieties of animals. And this is the way they participate in the nature. If you look at the human order, the body is similar to the body of an animal and is similar to any unit of the bio order. In the cells, we can see that there is participation in terms of perseverance, bravery, and generosity. So we need to understand these three terms. Perseverance essentially means that I'm able to see the solution. I'm able to see that right understanding, right feeling, and right thought is going to ensure happiness in me as well as for the other. So I always persevere for ensuring right understanding, right feeling, and right thought. This is perseverance. Brevity means that I am ready to ensure the same thing in the other. I'm always ready for that. So that readiness and commitment is there in me to ensure the right understanding, right feeling, and right thought in the other. And generosity means that I'm ready to invest myself, my body, my wealth, to ensure right understanding, right feeling, and right thought in the other. So this is the natural characteristic. This is the natural acceptance in the self of the human being. This is not to be seen in the animal order, but it's certainly there in the human order. So natural characteristic, the participation in the larger order, inheritance we are not discussing right now, but it is the basis of definite conduct across generation. So now one task that arises from here is that you try to have a look at all these units in the nature and try to place them in different orders and try to find out the basis of placing them in different orders and then try to see the innateness and the natural characteristic of these various units. Now we'll try to see how the coexistence express itself in terms of submergence in the four orders. So in the physical order, we are able to see the interaction. So every unit of the physical order is submerged in space and thus it is active. It is an activity in itself and active with other units. And by virtue of that, we can see the interaction. So every unit is submerged. It is there in a definite self-organization. There's a definite participation in the larger order so every unit of the physical order is they are submerged in space and by virtue of being submerged there is orderly interaction so interactions are taking place in the physical order in an orderly manner there is innateness in every unit of the physical order and thus there is a definite self organization and thus it exists it continues to be similarly a, we can see that there is a definite participation in the larger order and thus there is formation and deformation and these are all expression of submergence. So something that we had not mentioned earlier and we are mentioning in this slide is this particular thing that we can see that there is orderly interaction in the physical order and this is an expression of the submergence in the physical order. So there is orderly interaction here existence is there and formation and deformation is taking place. Now going further to study the submergence, the definite self-organization and the participation in the larger order, we can study for the bio order. So we are able to see that there is not only interaction but also pulsation in the bio order. So by virtue of pulsation, there is recognition and fulfillment in the bio order and there's ability to grow form another cell to multiply something that we can see in the bio order there is growth in the bio order which is the definite self organization of the bio order and the participation in the bio order is in terms of nurturing and worsening so this is again something that we had not discussed earlier so there is pulsation in the bio order and there is recognition and fulfillment by way of pulsation and there is ability to grow form and the cell to multiply and this is an expression of the coexistence this is an expression of the submergence this is something that we can see in the bio order similarly when you talk about the animal order we can see that there are self as well as the body in the body by virtue of submergence there is pulsation there is recognition and fulfillment by way of pulsation and there is ability to grow form and the cell to multiply in the body, again, there is growth and there is the characteristic of nurturing and worsening. In the self, we can see that there is sensitivity towards sound, touch, sight, taste and smell. This sensitivity can be seen here in the self. So the self responds to various uh, sensations coming from the body. And there is recognition and fulfillment on the basis of assuming there is one breed. So depending on the breed, there is one definite kind of recognition and fulfillment. 
and there is assuming and there is activity of assuming in the self of the animal and this is all expression of submergence this is our expression of submergence in the animal order so when you go to study the animal order we have to study the body as well as the self and this is something that we are able to see that of course there is sensitivity in the self towards sound touch sight taste or smell now the example that we are taking earlier let's say you have a pet dog and it starts responding to the sound now the sound is coming from you reaching the ears and the from the ears it is reaching the self as a sensation and the pet dog starts responding to that isn't it a similar kind of thing can be seen in terms of touch sight taste or smell and you'll see that there is activity or assuming involved here okay there is of course some response going to come from the by order also when you have a particular sound touch sight or smell or taste but of course there is no activity of assuming involved there and the the, the response is the same every time but here the response may change depending on the activity of assuming so the same thing is written here in hindi about the animal order and now we can study the human order now if you look at the human order again there are two realities associated with the human order that is us body and self in the body we can see that on the basis of submergence there is pulsation and the body has a definite self organization by virtue of which there is growth and the body has a definite participation in the larger order by virtue of which it nurtures or worsens with the other unit something that we saw for the animal order and there is recognition and fulfillment by way of pulsation there is ability to grow form and the cell to multiply all these things we can observe in the body and we may try to observe that this is all on the basis of submergence now when you observe the self we can see that there is sensitivity towards sound touch sight taste smell as we saw with the animals and here we have also feeling in addition to this sensitivity there is recognition and fulfillment on the basis of assuming but yes the assuming is either guided by knowing or not guided by knowing so there is a need to know and potential for knowing in the self of the human being and this is all an expression of submergence in the human order unit so the submergence is that is the coexistence is expressing itself in the four orders and we can see this how it uh, expresses in the human order now if you look at the chart below you can see that there is sensitivity in the self as well as there is knowability and knowledge in the self so the sensitivity is already there knowability is there the knowledge has to be ensured there is a will to live with continuous happiness and that is fulfilled by right feeling and right thought which can be there on the basis of right understanding and this is to be ensured similarly the natural characteristic is in terms of perseverance bravery and generosity and for which we have to work and there is potential for understanding in the self and this potential has to be utilized so that there is right understanding in the self in completeness and we can also see that the inheritance is there on the basis of education and sanskar something that we had discussed earlier now the same thing is written in hindi here for the human order so put all together we can observe how submergence that is coexistence expresses itself in the four orders so in the physical order it is there in terms of interaction in the bio order it is there in terms of interaction and pulsation in the animal order the body has similar uh, thing as we can observe with the bio order that is there is interaction and pulsation and there is sensitivity in the self of the animal uh with the human body the same thing is visible and we can see that there is sensitivity in the self of the human being also but in addition there is knowability in the self and if one works for right understanding right feeling then the knowledge is ensured and we can observe that the innateness is the will to live with continuous happiness and that is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling and right thought and that is to be ensured through human education sanskar so looking at this slide we can see how coexistence expresses itself in all the four orders something that we have been discussing in this lecture now there is some homework for you in this lecture too so let us investigate into our natural characteristics innateness and coexistence that is submergence now one explore as to which feeling is natural for you in your relationship with other human being feeling of affection or jealousy respect or disrespect 
care or exploitation guidance or misguidance what do you think try to find it out also check whether your behavior is in line with it or not next explore as to what is natural feeling for you in your relationship with your body feeling of nurturing or exploitation protection or otherwise right utilization or some kind of misuse and also check whether your interaction with the body is in line with it or not next explore as to what is natural feeling for you in your relationship with the physical facility feeling of enrichment or exploitation protection or otherwise right utilization or misuse and also check whether your work with physical facility is in line with it or not now why are we doing all this so you'll see that we have a natural acceptance in all our interaction and then you can see that the submergence the coexistence expresses itself in me in terms of my natural uh, acceptance this is something for you to explore then explore as to what is your innate desire your basic aspiration desire to live with continuous happiness or otherwise also check whether this desire is fulfilled by right understanding that is knowledge or otherwise that is basis of your self organization is it right understanding knowledge or otherwise and check whether these natural characteristics and the innateness of you are natural expression of your realization of coexistence that is submergence of self in space or not so this will take time for you if you look at the fifth point this will take time for you to explore investigate and find out for yourself but this is a doable thing and once you start doing this you will see that you are able to explore much deeper much further and you have a broader clarity of the existence so in today's lecture we observed how the coexistence expresses itself as the four orders of nature and we could also see the expression of submergence in the four orders so this is all for the lecture today thank you